We're pleased to have our guest speaker today from the Sloan Loan Public Library, which is Trina Carson. She will be discussing different phases of eBay and another auction online. I was like, well, thank you, eBay. I never would have really gone out and looked for these other places if I didn't like what was happening. You're going to pay $8 a month regardless of how many auctions you have. You could list 10 auctions and you could sell all 10 of those auctions and you still only pay $8 a month. You could list 100 auctions. You could sell all 100 of those items and you still only pay $8 that month. You could sell 1,000 items. But let's say those items didn't sell and you had to relist. You still only pay the eight dollars at eBay. They charge you a listing fee per item. If you sell the item, they charge you a final value fee. If the item doesn't sell and you want to relist it, they charge you a relisting fee. So there's quite a bit more fees with eBay. Ola.com has fair feedback for the buyer and the seller. At ebay.com, they have unfair feedback. So I'm, I'm afraid to list there because if I get a buyer who doesn't like the color of my peanuts in his package, he could leave me a negative feedback. That simple, and there's nothing I could do about it. At ola.com, lower selling fees equals lower cost to the buyers. If it costs the seller less to sell, they would hopefully pass that savings on to you. Because on eBay, where they're raising all these fees, who do you think they're going to try to pass the cost on to? The buyers. eBay.com, unhappy sellers, unhappy buyers. <laughs> Ola.com, you have happy buyers, happy sellers. There's currently over 14 million items listed there for sale right now. So that's quite a selection. And 20 something of those items are mine. <laughs> yes. But isn't it better to have a choice? I mean, that's what this country is all about having a choice. Hey guys, ready for some summer fun? Happy now!